My children have gone without food and clothes. That's the desperate plea from a solo mother who's urging the government to ditch the law that cuts the benefits of women who don't name the father of their children. One News could reveal the Social Development Minister was advised she could get rid of the penalties of this year. Political reporter Benedict Collins has more details. Solo mum Natasha Green's benefits being slashed because she wouldn't name the father of her children. I don't, at the end of the day, want my children to be put into danger. She's one of more than 13,000 solo parents penalised in New Zealand. It's, you know, food, they can't eat, uh, clothes. I have to, you know, buy one thing at a time, but, you know, winter just comes. You need clothes. There's 17,000 kids that are starving. It means that there's less money to be able to feed them, and that's just not right. Now One News can reveal the Social Development Minister received official advice that the sanctions could be ditched as soon as October this year. It would cost $100 million over four years and would need to be discussed with the Finance Minister given the significant fiscal implications. I haven't got this one over the line yet. Solo parents who won't identify the other parent can have their benefit cut by $22 a week for each child they have. And while the officials calculate that removing this sanction will cost $25 million a year, that's money the government believes shouldn't be getting taken off these vulnerable families in the first place. This sanction is unnecessarily cruel and is entirely excessive and there's agreement across government on that. It was definitely a priority for me. Unfortunately, it's not something we could get done in the first term, uh, first year, but we're going to get it done in this term. Today, those affected had a message for the Minister. Lift them. What, what's the point in them? You're putting parents, children at risk. They have no right to do that to children. No right whatsoever. But it appears solo mums will face this sanction for some time yet. Benedict Collins, One News.